everyone welcome back to a brand new minecraft video and today i'm going to be showing you seven you heard me seven different ways on how to make different secret bases or secret entrances in minecraft so let's get started okay so the very first thing you want to do is find a small pond like this um oh, what we need so here is a big drip leaf so you're going to need one of these because this is going to be the way to make our secret entrance. So the first things first, you want to pick a corner of this sort of like pond thing. And you want to, I know you have to break the number one rule in Minecraft, but dig straight down. There's a few blocks. Okay. And then we're, this is the place where we're going to make our base. So it's a bit dark down here, so I want to get a few torches. Okay. I broke the torch. Okay, so now that we have a small space for ourselves, do that, so the water should flow through one block. Then you want to expand this a little bit, breaking the torch, because you want to be able to breathe in here. I would recommend, like, if you have to dig a bit more straight down, so you're not like right next to the surface. Dig around here, and then I'll just make a hole. Okay, so now that I have made this hole, it's okay space. You can make it as big or small as you want. Just remember the um, ground is above you. And we have this um, like waterfall thing right here. So what we're gonna do is take our big drip leaf, go back up to the surface, and place drip leaves all around our pond to make it seem normal. And then we're gonna place drip leaves here so there you go, you have to start from the bottom and, to the top and go to the top. So from here it doesn't look like there's anything, but in reality, you can just um, basically stand on it, go down, and then you can come into your secret base. So that is the very first way, and just to, um, in case that wasn't clear, you have to start from the bottom, and then build your drip loop up, all the way to the top, and you'll be fine. So that's the first way to get into your base. I have six more ways to show you. Alright, so the first way was using a big drip loop in a pond. The next way is using powdered snow. So I would recommend using the secret base within a snowy biome like this one or on top of a mountain with snow in Minecraft. Because if not, your base is going to stand out and your secret entrance will be probably be known. So first things first, come here and you know this powdered snow bucket. We can place it down. It shows this snow right here. It's a bit different from ordinary snow since you can actually go through it and become cold and develop slowness. But this can be a way to get into your secret base. The very first thing is that you want to, again, I'm sorry, dig straight down. A few blocks. And then you can make yourself another hole. For me, I'm going to make this one a bit smaller. For designing a secret base, let me know if you want a video on that because I would love to make one for you guys. But we'll, we'll see about that, okay? So first, we'll just make a hole. That's pretty good size. And this is where we're going to be coming. So floating snow actually floats. Actually, I powdered snow I meant actually floats. So what you can do is that you place a snow bucket. So you have this top of that. And then you also have all these others. So what you want to do is break the top snow. So then it looks like it's disguised. And then you replace this with actual snow blocks. And then, so you just want to break the snow. Then we are going to get our snowball here. You want to place it around the place you mine the top snow, as well as the place where you, where you actually did mine it. So you want to fill this whole place up with top snow so it's been more disguised. So now this is like, I know it's sort of like, weird but in this case it's fine just trying to show you how to do it then you want to sprinkle some powdered snow everywhere so then your whoever's trying to find you doesn't see this and thinks oh this is just normal part of minecraft 
when in reality one of the snow blocks which is here, you can slide down right through it and fall into what will soon be your base. And then to get back up, or scaffolding depends what you want. And you have to make sure to jump out. So you can go right back down, go down the ladder, go back up, try your best to jump out. It's a bit difficult in Bedrock by Bell B, but you can. So that is the second way. Now I have plenty more ways to show you, five more to be exact. So let's get to the next one. Alright, we are back for the third way, and personally this way is my favorite, and I like to call it the arrow opening. So you want to find a wall sort of like this, something similar to it, and I'm going to actually use redstone for this one, so this one might get a tiny bit complicated, but it's going to be okay. We're going to need sticky piston, you're going to down or at whatever block you are going to use to blend into the wall. You're going to need um, redstone torches. Yeah, we're going to need a target block because that's the the most important thing. Okay, where is... Oh, here's a target block. So the target block, we're obviously might need a lever, redstone dust, and might be... I need a redstone repeater. We'll, we'll see. The very first thing... You, and I'll let you know if we need anything else, but the very first thing you want to do is that you want to make a, like, crevice in this, like, mouth you want to do it in and make sure it like looks believable it shouldn't be like holy like not holy holy square or something like that it just wants to look like somewhat believable like that sort of looks believable now and then we're going to have the opening of where it's going to go just like so and then we're going to make a small hole here and this is where your secret base is going to be and if you're wondering why i'm making this video i think secret bases are fun and they honestly could help a lot. Like, whatever happens in your Minecraft world. Like, if a friend goes rogue or something, I don't know. It happens, but it always is really fun to start building. I started building and I got a lot better, so I'm sure you can as well. Alright, so we have this, which is our small opening, and this is where some of the red cells are gonna come in. You'll see. And then over here, so you want to be off to the side somewhere, you want to put your target block. Somewhere like that. Then, we have to get our grass block and clear out all this and replace it with grass. And you'll see why we have to do that in a second. Yeah. Now you can place our target block and we want to put grass so you can get bone meal fern grass whatever place it in front so it's not seen you also want to place this bone meal around too so it doesn't get any extra attention like it's all about concealing yourself right so there you probably wouldn't even see it too much really. so now we're going to get our pistons over here and you want to break four blocks like this and place two of them. And then another two. So the piston should come out. So make it believable. Okay. So we're just going to trace back the redstone. And then we're going to put all the redstone back. So first of all, you have to find out where your target block is. That's, the one, that's seriously the most important thing to trigger the opening. Let's see if they can find it. It might take me a second. They want to start from behind the target block. That's one of the most important things. So right here behind the target block, you're going to place your redstone torch. And you're going to place your redstone dust. Your redstone just should light up. If it doesn't, I don't know what's going on. You might have to restart your Minecraft or something. I'm not good at debugging. But you have to place it like this. You want to lead it all the way. Your pistons. And they should pop out properly. If only one of them does, then you have to place redstone around it, like so, and place it on top using stone. Just like that. So we're going to block this up in a minute, but I just want to show you a mistake that I made. You don't want your pistons to show like this, or else you can clearly see your base. You want to make sure they cover up. Just like that. So, now, 
once you have done with once you're done with your redstone you want to test it out before you close up everything so what we're going to do we're going to get a arrow and we're going to get a bow and once you shoot the arrow it should land the target block it should open up your base so if it doesn't just keep trying and see the target block there you go and as you can see that i'm not very good with the timing so what you want to do if, if it's too fast for you you want to use a redstone repeater and add delay so it delays your redstone signal and you might need to add a couple if you're slow like me and i'm very good all right so i have max delay there you go you have to sprint for me and once you're done with that you can close up all this with dark any and torches okay and once you're done with all your redstone you can just block up all your redstone so you don't have you don't have to see it because you don't want to really see that and now you are in your base so i'm just gonna break this so i can get back out but that is the next way to make your base so this is the third way and we have four more other ways so let's get into it okay so the next one is probably second favorite one it has something to do with paintings now i know what you're thinking that the painting thing has been has been done so many times before ever since people first found out about it in minecraft which is almost like 10 or so years ago but this is much this is a bit different and i think it's much more creative so we're going to need quite a few items and if this gets a bit complicated i'm sorry make sure to replay the video in case you're confused so very first thing is that we have to get paintings obviously yeah these paintings and we're also going to need redstone for this one as well sticky piston i'm only going to show you how to build it it's up it's for you to figure out how to enter i don't know what kind of minecraft build or minecraft home you have in your world so i'm sorry but you have to figure that out i can't show that to you but you can use any block for me i'm going to be using stone we're obviously going to need redstone torches and redstone dust we might need a lever but we'll see about that and we'll have me to figure it out okay so i'm only going to show you how to build it it again i say it's up for you to help figure out how to integrate it since i don't know what your minecraft build looks like so we're going to place like a few stone blocks oh i forgot something i was like i knew i forgot something oak pressure plate or any kind of pressure so this is going to be one of the walls in your home or wherever you're doing this this is going to be one of the walls okay so first you want to make this like sort of like some wall thing or wherever you're putting this secret entrance and you want to put a pressure plate then you want to use a painting and put a paint painting over it, just like that so now you can see from behind we have a pressure plate so we have this pressure plate you're going to place a redstone torch right next to it like so and then make a trail of redstone dust and go to wherever you want as long as you don't run out of the charge but then you want to place another wall like so and this wall is going to have the actual sticky piston so here are the sticky pistons and remember you sometimes have stone to help i'm going to make this wall a bit bigger so, and then you want to break the blocks in the wall that relate that are basically in front of your pistons and then once you do that we're also going to need one more thing i'm sorry we're going to need signs and you want to put signs oh, inside just like so so this allows the paint to go through it's sort of weird to have this. okay that's just like that so what's going to happen in this like um contraption is that you're going to take some remember the block you made the hole so for me it was this one so stand right in front of it face toward the painting and throw something it should activate the pressure plate and if it does you can walk through this painting oh sorry and you can pass through it properly and then once you're inside you take the item back and then closes so that's just like a little fun way and it's a bit more interesting than the normal painting method you get this two different paintings that work together for your secret entrance so the way i was imagining this is that you'll have your home and then it you only show this part to everyone but the actual secret room is over here so that is all 
for this time and next one is going to be really interesting. You'll see. Alright, now we are on the fifth way. Wow, well, it's already fifth. <laughs> but we are on the fifth way to make the to make secret entrances in Minecraft. This next way is going to involve quite a few things, but it doesn't have any redstone, so if you're not good at, red at redstone like me, you're saved. So we're going to need a lava bucket, and we're also going to need signs, and we're going to need under pearl. And we'll see how we're going to use these three things in a minute. So first, I, I know that we're breaking this rule a lot, but we have to dig straight down. And we have to make a little hole for ourselves. And I'm working with gravel. Alright, so I made the hole. I know it stands out with all the gravel, but when you do this, make sure it's a bit more disguised. Because I'm just showing you how to build it. So we have our little hole thing. And we're going to put lava in this hole that leads to the outside. So we see the lava flowing. All you want to do is that you're going to put sign over it so it stops the lava flow. Just like that. Alright, so for your hole, you want to make sure your lava is above at least two blocks because that's where you're going to be. I'll explain that. So you have a water bucket. So, so we have to try that one more time. Have your ender pearl, you shift all the way to the edge and throw, and you should land in the water, and this is where your base is. I'd recommend using this method as like a hidden place in your actual home. So you can just like put a sign that says like trash because anything you throw in here burns and you won't see. So you can just do like extra air block like that. And your friends are going to think, oh, it's just a trash bin. It doesn't really matter. In reality, it's the way to your base with, with the ender. Because if you go into this thing, you die. But if you don't and have an ender pearl, it'll be good. So that is the fifth way. We still have two more ways to go. Alright, we are now on the sixth way of how to make different secret entrances in Minecraft. And the next way is going to be involving some redstone, a tree, and a lever. You'll just see. So, first of all, we're going to get some, some redstone. We're going to need a lever. We might need a torch just to be, just to be safe because torches are... I didn't realize how much they're used, but they're pretty cool. Sticky, sticky piston. Going to need grass. Going to need a sapling. And make sure you choose a sapling that blends in with your environment. For me, I have like dark oak, I have oak, and I have birch. So I'm just going to go with the additional oak. And we're also going to need bone meal. And a hoe. You'll see how we need that in a second. So, first of all, you want to plant your oak sapling, sapling and make it grow. Okay, there we go. So, we have our sapling. And you want to. This, this tree is actually pretty good because you want to make sure your tree is like a bit taller but it's fine for me so what's going to happen is that we're going to dig right under the tree i know we're not supposed to have trees floating but this is like essential i'm going to place the lever down and then cover it up okay and then again i'm sorry we're going to dig straight down we're going to make ourselves a little hole and this is where your base is going to be and it's probably going to be a lot bigger than my hole I'm just trying to show you how to build it. Again, I say it's up for you to integrate it in whatever you, way you want. I also have to cover up the redstone liner just to make sure no one sees. Right, there we go. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to break a bit more so we can see properly. Okay. There you go. So, basically what we're going to do with this. Alright, so you see I sort of struggled a tiny bit. But basically what you have to do is that you have to get your with your lever like again so you guys can see better and so I can build better and I cramp the base okay just like so just like this and then you want to keep on making like a staircase or something with whatever block you're using and then going sort of like that and this is just to help us later on so this is where we're going to make our secret entrance, so we're just going to break a few blocks around. Big last one. I'm also going to place a few more blocks. So it makes a bit more sense. 
This will turn into grass so we don't. But now, break a few. Going into. Or where do we place it? I know this seems a bit messy. I didn't make things properly. All right. So now we got our pistons. We're going to take our redstone signal that we've had, and then we are going to. It should, it should be proper, and then break this so I can pull. Break that, just like so. So what's going to happen is, is that the lever which is flipped on is helping the piston stay extended. So what you're going to have to do is that you're going to break them first from these ones. Um, that you're going to and hold, and you can see the lever. And you can actually flick it on, and you can come in here, just like so, and get, come into your secret base. So I'm just going to break this and come in, and then you can. Come back in and turn it off. Pretty cool. And then if your friends see this, they're like, oh, it's just old land, not a big of a deal. In reality, it's your base. I'm sorry that this one looked a bit messy. I just um, couldn't figure it out for some time, but at least you understand the concept of putting the lever underneath the tree with the redstone signal and it connects to your pistons that allow you to go in and out. And you can just click it back on, leave. Then you can hold this ground again and flick it off. So it's pretty good for leaving and escaping. Or leaving and coming in, you know what I mean. So that is our second to last way and now we're going to go to the very last way to make a secret entrance. Alright, so I want you to go and find a small hill just like this one. It doesn't have to be just like this one but sort of similar. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the entrance and then put all the redstone stuff in later. So the very first thing I'm just going to do this better, better than a tree one because that one was a bit messy. But here what's going to happen is that we're going to have a redstone stuff over here. So what I want you to do is first we have to gather our material. So first we are going to get our redstone dust, we might need redstone torches, we're going to need our lever, we're going to need sticky torches, we're going to need whatever block you use to like blend in, for me it's going to be stone but for you it could be whatever you want. And we're also going to need shulker boxes, whatever color you want, it really doesn't matter. You're like, what well, we're going to need the shulker boxer box for, I'll show you. So if you didn't know, you can actually fall through shulker boxes once you open them and stand directly on top of them. It's pretty cool. So that's what we're going to use for our base. So I'm going to just break like a lot down. <laughs> break these. Just like so. This is, again, I'm just showing you how to build it. If you want to see me make an actual secret base, please let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Especially since I don't hear from you guys too often. Okay, so first we're going to put our shulker box down, like so, and you want to make sure it's facing towards you. Get that done because we need it. <laughs> oh, we don't need it actually. I'll place a one back. Like that. Then we're going to put the piggy pistons over here. There's the stone. Then we also have a place where our lever is going to be. So for me, I'm going to put the lever like here, and then I'm going to put grass in front of it so it stays a bit more hidden. Or you can use bone meal. It really depends on what you want. So it doesn't look as suspicious. So we have that, and then we get to our lever. Just like, I had to flick the lever on, so it goes, so, so now we have this, and I'm going to block in everything, like that, 
So now we have this, and if you find the lever, you can flick it. Well, and it reveals this. And you're like, what even is this? Well, as I said before, if you stand directly on top of the shulker box and open it, you fall straight down, and this will be your secret base. Just like so. so I just want to break that because that was just for demonstration. That's how you would make it. So I hope this video has been very helpful to you. I always think secret bases in Minecraft are really cool, secret passages, anything that are like sort of secrets, but they're fun and they're really cool to discover. So I'm really glad I made this video. I've been experimenting with a lot of different ways to make secret passages, and I think actually these ways turned out really well. So if you want to see me make an actual secret base, please let me know. I would love to make a video about it. I love making videos for you guys. I love hearing from you. I have my YouTube for a reason. I just share and communicate with you all, and I'm super Super grateful you all have helped me get to where I have oh, really close to hitting a thousand and I really want to hit that goal. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me to see you be part of my amazing journey throughout my YouTube. And for those of you who have subscribed, I'm very grateful for you. You've given me so much joy and created a new passion that I never would have found without you. So just to get that out of, the, out of the way, and if you haven't already, I do have an Etsy store where I make and make and design my own 3D printed creations and sell them. And that is in the about section of my channel, so please go check on it. It might even be in the, in the description as well. Please check on that. See if you can buy anything. It would always a lot. It's all the money goes comes from that and supports the channel. So I hope this video has helped you, and I hope that you feel much better after watching this. If you want, I plan on making more tutorial videos in the future and I would love to hear any more ideas from you guys. So that is it. That is it for me. I hope you have enjoyed this video one last time I say that. And I hope you all have a safe and wonderful day. Bye!